Hello, darlings. Here are my Dragon Age 4 2022 predictions. Logic predicts more concept art following a similar pattern to what we have been seeing in the previous year, leading up to a sort of reveal, perhaps companions or classes or factions slash groups of people, a specific reveal of information regarding to the pattern of concept art with perhaps more concept art following after. I'm predicting also for Dragon Age Day in next December, more short stories because that seems to be the pattern that's going. Now, last year we got a bit of uh, obscure information from a Brazil conference, so we had to watch the translation. It wasn't mainstream, but we got some nice tidbits. I'm guessing, logically, something more specific, more mainstream, like Summer Game Fest or E3 or both. Bioware has said that 2022 is going to be the year where we're going to get information. So my hope is skill trees, because I like to prep up my skill trees way in advance. I want to know all the skill trees for all the classes, all the specializations way in advance so I can plan at least my first character way in advance. Also, I'm hoping updates, upgrades for the Dragon Age Keep, like more than just 10 editable world states. Please. <laughs> also, I'm hoping, I'm, I'm predicting a trailer and I'm hoping for a title drop. Dragon Age 4 trailer with the Dragon Age 4 title drop. Okay, let's be specific here. Now let's see what the cards have to say. With a one card draw, I will be using my Green Witch Tarot deck, but we'll say what the equivalent card is for the Dragon Age Inquisition Tarot deck. So tell us, cards. What does 2022 have in store for us for Dragon Age 4? It is upright and it is the Page of Cups. In the Dragon Age Inquisition Tarot deck, the Page of Cups is Dorian. Default Dorian. Well, we're going to Tevinter, so... <laughs> and he seems to be confirmed as at least making a cameo based on concept art and to Winter Nights. So the card itself represents being dreamy. This is for 2022. So is a story concept regarding the fade going to be revealed or, or is our dreamy looking companions going to be revealed? Sensitive beautiful well concept art always is beautiful so i'm guessing along the lines of that using one's talents so the team at bioware everyone will be using their talents a practical use of skills so hopefully hopefully practical use of skills skill tree reveals maybe freedom loving nature loving empathy deliberation so deliberation to me says output of information speaking to us what's to come details more details regarding dragon age 4. psychic ability whose psychic abilities a character being passionate well we're all passionate the team is passionate. Everybody working on Dragon Age 4 is passionate. So I think what we're going to see is going to reflect that. The people speaking to us, giving us the information, are going to convey that. High-minded, able to see past hurdles, be in the higher consciousness. Not just convey the information, but able to develop it to develop the story and plot lines. Clairvoyant, gifted, mystical. So I'm guessing maybe in regards to storylines, you know, the mysticism 
in the story and things like that that we will see in concept art or be revealed regarding characters or certain companions. It's very much based on magic and mages. For the concept art, you know, we're, we're seeing different classes, we're de seeing different factions, groups of people. But with the mysticism, maybe information drops on possible types of mages, maybe mage companions. Something to do with mages is going to be revealed in 2022 regarding Dragon Age 4. It's going to be very magic-based and mage-centered for certain information reveals. This is a very positive card. It's Dorian also, so we're going to Tevinter, so I think centered in regards to maybe a storyline, either that involves Dorian or that involves Tevinter as a whole, which is run by mages, the magisterium. Something that leads to maybe little hints or reveals of where the story looks like it's going to begin, maybe when it's going to begin, because uh, I'm, I'm thinking more and more that 952 Dragon is somewhere in Dragon Age 4, not necessarily the beginning of it. And so I'm thinking things surrounding Tevinter, maybe more concept art about Tevinter, more information about Tevinter, different location reveals, maybe a map of Tevinter, more detailed of specific locations, a map of Minrathis, maybe a map of Verantium, Carinus, well, slash Ventus, you know, different locations in Tevinter. And so maybe what we're going to learn in 2022 is mostly going to be based in and around Tevinter and characters in and around Tevinter. Logically, it would make sense for them to confirm that we begin in Tevinter, uh, not just begin somewhere else and then end up in Tevinter. I suspect, I've been suspecting for a while, that we start off in Tevinter. Anyway, mage magic based Tevinter, it just seems we're gonna have a lot of information in regards to that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below what your interpretation of the page of cups upright reveals in regards to and let me know your predictions for dragon age 4 in 2022 and like this video if you like it subscribe to be jimmy approved and i'll see you all soon maseranas if you're new here and you like my content, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Like it if you like it, for the like it if you like it dance. You can also follow my website, binkyproductions.com, where I post everything from all my channels. Exclusive! If you want to support me, consider buying my book, Stardust Destinies 1, Variant Facing, Magic, Dragons, Fantasy, all relevant links below. Thank you so much for your time. Your continued viewership is very much appreciated. Maseranas.